160 different alien races, alien technology, experimentation, and underground installations. All this pointing to a massive government cover-up. If the Blue Planet Project is real, then that wildly changes our sense of the universe. It will decenter us. What if the Blue Planet Project is true? What if there is a secret government alien cover-up? Just when did it all begin? July 16, 1945. 35 miles southeast of Socorro, New Mexico. Shortly before 5.30 a.m. local time, a large explosion sends shockwaves throughout the southwest United States. The blast reaches two miles in diameter and flattens five square miles of wasteland. The Trinity nuclear test is detonated, and it marks the beginning of the atomic age. The projects like Trinity and even the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings created such uh, a huge impact not only on our world but to anyone who would be able to see our world from far away. Because these explosions were so massive, it's very clearly seen from space if you're in any proximity to our planet. You would have noticed this. Since the 1940s, when we first started doing nuclear testing, UFOs all of a sudden appeared and were very interested in the types of energy discharges that were taking place. July 8, 1947, almost two years to the day after the Trinity test, and only about 150 miles from the test site, one of the biggest and most widely known UFO events was about to unfold. Why did the aliens go to Roswell? Look at what the Roswell Army Air Force Base was. B-29 bombers had dropped nuclear weapons over Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It was the home base, the first nuclear weapons base. Could the heat which emanated from the detonation have given alien nations a telltale sign of advanced human activity on Earth? These aliens didn't come looking for us. We ultimately called out to them by detonating these nuclear weapons. So ultimately, whatever happens to us is kind of our own fault. The connection between our use of atomic weapons and first contact would not be made until the mysterious Blue Planet Project book surfaced more than 30 years later. The book reveals the truth behind secret experimentation, abductions, and the rise of underground alien cities that had already been carried out, and all of this without the public's knowledge. The Blue Planet Project is a compilation of notes from somebody who had seen some inner workings of the alien and government infrastructure. It literally is the holy grail Bible of UFO conspiracy. Some UFO theorists believe it was written by scientist Jefferson Sousa. Sousa was said to be involved in highly covert, top-secret projects. It is believed that his government clearance allowed him access to all military secrets. He put everything into this document, detailing over 160 species of aliens that were visiting Earth, detailing why they were mutilating cattle, explaining why they were abducting humans. But Sousa himself has never been found. No one's been able to really talk to, find, or verify that Jefferson Sousa even existed. Whether or not he worked for the government or military, there's been no evidence that's ever surfaced. We hear stories of people who chose to be a whistleblower and come out of some classified project and raise their hand and say, yes, I was working on a UFO, and then they disappear. You can't talk about it, because if you do, you will die. And that's the whole premise of what one scientist says about the Blue Planet Project. He's a rogue scientist right from this community. No one can deny that the stories have a terrifying message. And if proven true, will change the course of mankind's future forever. But as we delve deeper into the document, we uncover a more sinister plot. Coming up next, the Blue Planet Project exposes a supposed government cover-up of epic proportions, an underground base where the unthinkable is carried out, and a shadow government that will do anything to silence those who know the truth.